everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to count the sum in total so whether it's the columns or the rows that you want to count i'm going to just show you a quick formula for that and also how to create this chart over here okay so first we have the expenses here and so write whatever you need here this doesn't have to be expenses uh, it can be any anything you want to check and then I have the revenue here. So let's say my product um, cost to make a product uh, cost me $20. And then my revenue uh, from that, I sell it for 40. And then I can count the profit. So the way we count the profit is very easy. We just have that equation sign. We click on the cell of the revenue and then we minus the expenses. And that's it. And then if I just click this uh, square over here and drag it down, then I can see um, it's, it just uh, repeats the formula again. And if we want to sum up everything, so that's even easier. All we have to do is we write an equation sign, write sum, and then choose the cells that we need. You can also, if you want, you can just write um, sum and write the cells. So you would write C2 and C4. Uh, but for me, it's just easier to select. And you can select two, one, how many, however cells you, how many cells you want. And then here we can just drag it to the right and it's just going to do it automatically for us for this row. So that's it. This is how you uh, count the sum. If you want, you can also do it a little bit more tediously. And you would say, for example, this plus this plus this, and it would sum everything. Or you could write the equation sign and again, write sum and then choose the row. And as you can see, it's all orange. So it's really easy to see. And then here I just drag it uh, down and I can see the total over here as well. I can also copy the style of this really easily and to change colors you just go to the colors panel and to change fonts you can also change the font and you can change the size and change all of that. Okay now that we're done with this let me just hide this one and let me show you how you create this column over here. So basically, let me just move it somewhere and let me just go here. I'm going to go insert column uh, and create a chart. So <laughs> Riley, stop. Come here. Stop it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose all of this. So if I want to see all of these here, I'm going to click insert and I'm going to choose chart. So now my chart is selected. And I can see all of the, uh, you know, all of the numbers here. I can make it smaller, bigger, whatever. And then if you want to change the color of it, you can also do that. So all you have to do, well, you can go through the settings over here, or you can just click on, for example, expenses, and you can uh, change the text the font size, the copy, uh, the text color, or uh, we can also change the color of the expenses here. So I don't know why, is it one? That's not what I want to do. Okay, I'm gonna just go here because it's selecting this one, but I want to change all of the expenses, not just one column. So I'm gonna go back and here I have it in the series. I have all these three colors. So now that I have expenses, I can choose the fill color. Let's say I choose this one. Then I can go to revenue and choose um, maybe something blue. And then I can go to profit and choose something gray. Or if I want it, it can be green, for example. You can also delete uh, parts just by clicking twice and deleting. And here we have our little chart over here.
Another thing you may want to know is that you can actually change them to different things, but then of course all the settings you have to change again. So you would have to uh, click and change um, everything like, like so. Okay, I hope that this is useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and see you in the next video.